Hi, I'm Monica. And I'm Lauren. And it's confession time. Okay, so let's just get this all out there. Uh, we all leak. We all worry that someone's gonna smell our periods. We all worry that people are going to see our pads through our pants. We're all embarrassed. We're all scared to talk about it. And that is just the way it is. But also a lot of us have some super funny stories about our periods. So today Lauren and I thought we'd share some of our period stories. And yeah, we're super scared and embarrassed, uh, but we know we shouldn't be, especially when so many of us have the same stories about our periods. Like Monica and I both could not figure out how to use a tampon for literally years. I've still never used a tampon and I'm so embarrassed to say that. And we both also do that thing where like when you get your period and you don't have a product, you like plug your vagina shut with a ball of toilet paper, you know, you know. So here we go. Period story time. Okay, so I'm in grade seven band. I'm doing my thing. I'm playing my tuba and I leaked through my pad, through my underwear, through my pants and through the sweater that I had strategically tied around my the waist. <laughs> So then I have this like huge melon sized stain on my butt, but I just decided I'm 12. I'm going to pretend no one can see it. No one will notice. I'll you just... thought I'm 12 in the moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these were the early days people. <laughs> I knew what I didn't know. So I had this leak. I thought I'd just leave class and like go about my day. But thank God my teacher stopped me and she gave me a different pad. But then <laughs> my underwear, when I went to put in this new pad, it wouldn't work because my underwear was just so bloody oh, and no. done, chaotic, chaotic mess. The pad would not even stick to the underwear. Okay, um, so when I first met my boyfriend about five years ago, when I would stay over at his house, I would be too embarrassed to throw my used pads into his garbage. Mm. So I would literally like roll up my bloody used pads, put them in a Ziploc bag and keep them on my person for like sometimes like two or three days until I got home to my own safe garbage can because I was that embarrassed about my period. But like, yeah. Yeah. I used to always pre-rip my pads open in advance because I was so embarrassed of the rip of the packaging sound. Mm -hmm. So I would like pre-rip open a bunch in advance and I would close them all up and I would tuck them away. So then when I went to the school bathroom, like no one would hear the rip sound. Okay, that's really smart and no one should have to do that because everyone should be able to uh, rip their pads in their power. Um, <laughs> but why do they make pads so loud? Yeah, honestly. And I used to always also always wear multiple pads at once. Like I would have upwards of three or four pads in my underwear. What do you mean upwards? Of? <laughs> okay, I would try like five or six pads at once. Oh my God. <laughs> like stack? No, like I wouldn't stack them. Like I would like strategically lay them out around my underwear to try to get every single leak crevasse, but it just made more crevasses. <laughs> <laughs> and then I leaked everywhere. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Doesn't work. But the alternative tampons, also like a mess and impossible, when I first wanted to put a tampon in, uh, I was in this hotel room with my mom and I wanted to go swimming. And so she's like trying to show me how to do it. And I could not find my vagina hole. Yeah. I did <laughs> not know where it was. And so my mom's like, bless her, on her knees trying to put this tampon <gasps> inside of me. Did it work? No, it wouldn't <laughs> go in. And my mom's just on the ground like, mm, I don't know. But you know what? Uh, amazing dedication to the cause. Thank you, Mom. Mom of the Year Award. That's beautiful. For sure. That's beautiful. But even with help, like you can't put them in sometimes. It's hard. <laughs> and you might think some of these stories sound like wild or unreal, but can you blame us? No. No, you can't. No one teaches us how to deal with these everyday struggles and then nobody talks about it at all. Yeah, and sex ed covers like 5% of the menstrual experience, I'm not here for it. So if you wanna join the conversation, we'd love to invite you to drop your period stories in the comments. Or even more, drop them in conversations with like your friends and your families and your partners. Let's start talking. Hi, we're Spicy Day. Thanks so much for watching this video. Go below to like and subscribe. No, <laughs> go below. <laughs>